And like most Dodgers, you are versatile. JT is no longer there. So third base seems to be yours. What is your take on, on playing that pretty much every single day? I, I feel that you're a lot more comfortable there now. Yeah, I got really comfortable over there last year. Um, you know, I, at third is a position that I've played, you know, several times over the years. And uh, I've always said that when you're when you're playing there once once a week or once every two weeks, it's a hard position to kind of, uh, uh, you know, adjust to and get used to. And I feel like it's something that you need to be playing every day to be more comfortable with it. And that happened to me last year. I feel like I made a lot of big strides in it. And, uh, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to this year. But, you know, they, they've they've talked to me to me already and you know I give them the same answer every time I don't care where I'm playing as long as I'm in the lineup and they know that so I'm, I'm willing to do whatever I can to help the team win and wherever I fit best in the uh, out in the field they, they know that and a new look infield for you guys as well because you have of course Gavin Lux who figures to be the starting shortstop then you have Miguel Vargas possibly at second base and you now have Miguel Rojas again kind of roving around the infield what do you make of your new infield look this year yeah, I think it'll be it'll be a good infield. You know, I think Lux he's finally going to get a chance to play the position that he's played his whole life, and uh, uh, you know, I think that's something that has kind of uh, you know maybe affected him a little bit over the last couple of years. He's trying to learn different positions, and uh, you know, it, it's it's hard to having done that myself. It's hard to do that when you're playing at the big league level, and so he's going to go back to a position that he's probably the most comfortable with, and I think uh, you know it's going to give him a chance to really just take off, and you know, I think he's he's got the ability to be an absolute star, and um, you know, it'll be it'll be fun to watch him this year. You had three straight years, Max, of at least 30 home runs. Then you got bit a little bit by the injury bug. First the wrist, of course, and then you had that torn UCL in the elbow uh, last day of the regular season. Kind of trickled into 2022. So give us an update on, on your health, on your status, and how good you're feeling. I know it's spring training time, so everyone's in the best shape of their life. Um, but how are you feeling body-wise? Yeah, I feel healthy. Um, you know, to me, that's the biggest thing. Uh, you know, I've, I've been swinging – uh, a lot recently and uh, it's just uh, the elbow feels like it's finally moving how it's supposed to move and um, you know it's something that we couldn't we couldn't get done all last year and it was a very frustrating way to make some swing changes just to get my body to move the way it needed to move and um, you know it feels healthy right now it feels strong it feels like it, you know right back where it needs to be and um, you know my, my swings gotten back to being more simplified which is uh, good for me and so um, you know it just it feels really good heading into spring. How did that come about? Because you got away from that a little bit, but you do have one of the most simple compact swings. And when you're like that in the box, you always have success. How did you get away from it? And how did you get back to it? Well, I had to get away from it because, uh, you know, just with my elbow injury, um, I was doing something that felt comfortable, but it wasn't really what was good for my swing and it ended up costing me a lot. And so we had to kind of revamp it in the middle of the season last year and add a lot more moving parts and that allowed my body to get back to a downhill position and work in the way it's supposed to work. And so um, that was the main reason for doing that. And now that, uh, um, you know, the easiest thing for me to do was kind of just take a break from hitting for a little bit in the off season. And then when I went back into it, I had my ideas of how I needed my body to move. And so right from the start, we were just, you know, getting back to being simple and when you take a little break and you have a chance to reset, uh, you know, that I feel like that was the biggest thing is just, you know, give yourself some time off, reset, and come in with a clear mindset on what you need to do. 